Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be discussing the F1 2016 driver lineups. So if your opinion isn't in here, uh, then don't hate me in the comments. This is what I think and if I get anything wrong then just correct me. But yeah, let's get into this. Uh, so obviously Mercedes we're talking about first. Um, Mercedes are definitely going to be keeping Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg because well they're just two really good drivers and I think they're going to keep them for at least another four years if not then Rosberg's going to go first because Hamilton's definitely won this championship although he hasn't yet he's like it's pretty much guaranteed so yeah but Nico Rosberg and Hamilton are going to stay for definite now we're going to talk about Ferrari De I definitely think uh, Sebastian Vettel is going to be driving for them next season and a couple of seasons to come. But Kimi Raikkonen, I think next season is going to be his last season as he did retire in 2009 before. And um, with that spot open for 2017, I think a Haas driver will fill in uh, with that. But I f I'll, talk about, I'll talk about that um, a bit later on. Um, but anyway, yeah, Sebastian Vettel, they're definitely keeping him as they just brought him in this season. Kimi Raikkonen, I think that... Uh, next season, they're keeping him, but it'll be his last season in Formula 1 before he goes to something else, so yeah. Now we're going to talk about Red Bull. Basically, I think that Daniel Ricciardo and Daniel Kvyat are definitely going to be staying at Red Bull because they both had a pretty much, they pretty much had a really good season for how Red Bull are doing at the moment. As you probably know, Red Bull are not doing that good. Uh, but for the standards, I think that uh, Danny Kvyat's having a really good season with his first podium, and Daniel Ricciardo is also having a pretty good season as well. So yeah, they're definitely going to be staying for a couple more years at Red Bull, hit the most. Now we're going to be talking about Williams. Basically, I think Bottas is definitely going to be staying because he's had a couple of really good seasons with Williams, and then he'll probably move on to a bigger team like Ferrari in the future. Um, but also, Felipe Massa, he's going to be definitely staying. I think this is the team he's going to stay with until he retires. Mostly because his season's been quite long. After moving from Ferrari, I think this is going to be the team he retires with. A bit like Michael Schumacher and Mercedes. So yeah, um, Williams are going to keep Massa and Bottas for 2016. Now we're going to talk about McLaren. Basically, I think that... Jensen Button and Fernando Alonso are definitely going to be staying at McLaren for 2016. It was suggested that Button would retire at the end of this season, but I think Fernando Alonso is going to retire at the end of next season. So I think it's better just to let them both retire um, at the end of 2016 and then bring in two new drivers. Preferably bring back Kevin Magnussen as he was really, really good. Um, in 2014, I think it was, yeah, 2014, and I'm bringing a GP2 driver to drive for McLaren, so yeah, I think that's what uh, will happen with McLaren. Now we're going to be talking about Force India. Basically, I think that Force India are going to keep Nico Hulkenberg and Sergio Perez. Um, if they don't keep Nico Hulkenberg, I definitely think he's going to be going to Haas, but I'll talk more about that later. Um, that's more on the uh, Raikkonen situation as well as um, a, a little bit. I'm going to talk about Grosjean. Uh, but yeah, if he doesn't go, then they're definitely going to keep him uh, with Sergio Perez because their seasons have just been pretty good this year. Now we're going to talk a bit about Lotus. Basically, I think that Roman Grosjean is definitely going to be leaving. Um... I think he's going to go to Haas um, with Nico Hulkenberg um, or it's going to be one of them too and then they're going to bring in a GP2 driver because Grosjean did say, I think I think he did, I think he said that he wanted to drive for Ferrari so if he drives for Haas then it kind of like the Toros or Red Bull thing, he will go to Ferrari. Maldonado already signed a contract so yeah. Now we're going to talk about Mana, basically what I think with Mana is that uh, they're going to keep Roberto Mary and Will Stevens or they're going to replace them both with two new GP2 drivers because that's pretty much what they do every year like Kate from HRT did. But apart from that, I have no idea uh, what's going to happen with Mana. Uh, but now we come on to Haas. Basically, I think that Roman Grosjean and Nico Hulkenberg are going to drive for Haas. 
preferably um, Roman Grosjean more, as he did say, I think, uh, that he wanted to drive for Ferrari. So, because like it's kind of made by Ferrari, um, like the Red Bull Toro Rosso kind of partnership thing, then like a younger drivers will go through Haas to get to Ferrari um, when they've improved. A bit like how Daniel Ricciardo and Daniel Kvyat did um, with Toro Rosso. Hulkenberg uh, could go uh, to Ferrari, but basically he's been in uh, F1 five years now, and uh, if you don't get uh, like a championship winning team uh, by how long he's been in, I don't think you will ever uh, get a team like that uh, for the rest of your career. But I think it's more likely that Grosjean will go to Ferrari, not Hulkenberg after he drives for Haas, but Hulkenberg may never drive for Haas, so you never really know. So now we're going to move on to Toro Rosso and Salber finally. Um, Toro Rosso, I think they're going to keep Sainz and Verstappen, simple as that, uh, because I don't think they'll bring in any new drivers just yet, and if they do then I'd say one of them two will go to Red Bull once Kvyat or Ricardo drops out, so yeah that's pretty much what I think, but I haven't heard any new drivers coming in yet. Uh, but Sauber, uh, definitely they're going to keep Nazar and Ericsson because they've they've had really good seasons with Sauber. Nazar ending the Sauber's pointless streak in Australia and he's just got a lot of potential. So if Nazar turns into kind of that Hulkenberg person and then uh, can go to Haas in the future maybe because Haas is meant to be a pretty good team uh, because obviously it's made by Ferrari. So hopefully... Uh, Naza or Ericsson can get a better spot in the future than just Salba, but yeah, definitely um, er Ericsson and Naza for 2016 for Salba. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this special video. It's kind of like a different video. I'm gonna do this like longish outro right here. But anyway, thanks for watching. And if you want me to do car designs uh, for 2016 and 2017. I will definitely do them because this this Haas design looks pretty cool and I could do different Haas designs and which one I think looks the most legitimate. Right now, the one that I'm looking at uh, does look the most legit, uh, but uh, I don't think um, they'll be fully revealed yet. All we know is Haas is going to be in the sport. And yeah, I will definitely do another F1 video like this, but anyway... If you want more of this news slash content of F1, please hit that subscribe button and leave me a like, which will help out a lot. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, by the way, guys, the Q&A is definitely going to be coming out in the next couple of days. Um, I've got enough questions, so I'll probably start filming tomorrow, and then I'll get it out for you in the next couple of days. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.